If there's a race at the Nashville Fairgrounds, Sterling Marlin! You'll find Sterling Marlin behind the wheel. To know that he's still doing it, doing it at a high level, it just shows the, the amount of talent and the dedication that he's always had. At 61 years old, he's still beating drivers who are a third of his age and sneaking up on the track record for wins. I guess as long as I get in a wheelchair and roll them and throw them in the car, I'll keep doing it. Racing is in Marlin's blood. His dad, Cuckoo, raced 14 seasons in the Cup Series. A young Sterling right alongside him at the track. I knew Sterling from and, you know, when we were young guys running around the racetrack with our dads racing and, and then obviously watching him come up through then uh, with his dad. Sterling started racing himself on the Cup level in 1983. He won back-to-back -back Daytona 500s racing for Abingdon-based Morgan Motorsports in 1994 and 1995. Oh, hard into the wall, Sterling Marlin, a vicious crash. In 2002, he broke his neck in an accident at the Kansas Speedway while leading the points, ending his best shot at a championship. Caution is out. I think that it kind of gets lost. A lot of people just look maybe that, that are new to the sport and don't realize what took place. Uh, he was well on his way to a championship, and uh, was he a championship caliber driver all the time? He certainly was that. Or uh, was he Hall of Fame worthy? He did enough stuff throughout his career and, and with that championship that you certainly would have looked at that. Two Daytona 500 back to back, uh, pretty special. Uh, Dad always wanted to thank a couple times, but good, good to, to win it. Marlin retired from NASCAR in 2010. In 2012, he revealed he had Parkinson's disease, but neither announcement has kept him from racing. I just feel like, I just feel like racing compared to, I got a good feel of cars here. And it's good to work on your own car and bring it up here and be fast with it and something you created, you built, and uh, still enjoy doing it. A lot of people that met him outside the car saw a, a guy that enjoyed having a good time, uh, liked to have a beer after practice or after qualifying and, and sit around and talk. and and talk about racing and, and maybe they didn't see that super competitive side of him. Which is what brings Marlon back out here to Nashville, week after week, still taking on all challenges, still just starting. Still, still drive pretty good, I guess. In Nashville, Heather Williams. It's still winning. News 5 on Fox.